Hey guys, Andrew from Denmark here. Welcome to episode 5 of Oath of the Gate, what's the new expansion we are about to get for Magic Gathering. A few spells have been reviewed today, so let's check it out. This card on the show today is called the Zero of Form, and it's a colorless and dry creature that costs you 7 mana to cast. It's an 8 8, and at the beginning of combat on your turn, reveal the top card of your library. If a creature card is revealed this way, you may have creatures you control other than the Zero of Form become copies of that card on the end of turn. You may put that card on the bottom of your library. This is a pretty nice to since uh, if you run this in a deck, you will probably also run a lot of other addresses creatures and you could get some pretty nasty addresses creatures out. So uh, so this would definitely be really scary to have uh, all your creatures become a copy of a, a cool addressy. So uh, definitely a nice uh, nice addressy for 7 mana. I think 7 mana is fine for this to be honest, but uh, also an 8-8 for 7 mana is, is always good. So definitely a nice card. The last card I want to show today is the, is the green version of the Oath cycle, which is called Oath of Nisa, and it's a legendary enchantment that costs you one mana to cast. When, all, when Oath of the Gatewalk enters the battlefield, look at the top three cards of the library. You may reveal a creature, land, or place or card from among them and put it onto your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. You may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast Brainswalker spells. This is pretty good for one mana, and again, this cycle is definitely going to be about Planeswalkers. I thought yesterday when we had the blue one, that that might only be the one with Planeswalkers abilities. But this is definitely also, uh, so the whole cycle is definitely going to be about uh, Planeswalkers. This one is pretty neat because it can fetch you Planeswalkers or anything else for that mana. But it can uh, fetch you Planeswalkers that you uh, can use uh, any mana to cast with. So basically you could you could run a five color deck or something with the uh, but the, this one would be really good in that. So, uh, I mean, for one mana, this is definitely really awesome. Those are the cards I wanted to show today. You can leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the cards we have seen so far in this blog in general. And then there are new cards coming out for both of the Gatewatch. I'll be making a new video. So if you're interested in this, you can subscribe to me. Until next time, have fun, guys.